We're all familiar with Santa Claus. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, chances are you know the name and are familiar with what he does. A fat, jolly man who delivers toys to good children around the world on a big red sleigh with magic reindeer. But what about the bad kids, do you ask? Well, he gives them coal instead of presents. I mean, I guess getting a piece of coal instead of a cool present is pretty sucky, but I would argue it's better than nothing, and not much of a punishment. But that's where Krampus comes in, to pick up Santa Claus's slack. Who is Krampus, you ask? Great question. I wasn't familiar with him myself until I saw the American Dad episode, Minstrel Krampus. Krampus, in many ways, is the anti-Santa Claus, where instead of rewarding kids for their good behavior, he punishes them for their bad behavior. Krampus looks like a half-goat, half-demon, his body is covered in fur, and he has cloven hooves and horns of a goat, with a long pointed tongue. Yeah, he really looks like a demon or devil, and he even carries chains and in some interpretations to scare children. The way he punishes kids varies. Some say he carries birch branches to beat naughty kids, others say that he carries a sack or basket so you can take the bad kids to either drown them, eat them, or take them straight to hell. Either way, the sky isn't messing around. I knew St. Nicholas was not coming this year. Instead, it was a much darker, more ancient spirit. The shadow of St. Nicholas. It was Krampus. As he had for thousands of years. Krampus came not to reward, but to punish. Not to give, but to take. He and his helpers. Krampus has never really been part of the American Christmas tradition, as we tend to focus on the joy and happiness of Christmas. I've only known about him for a few years now. In the last few years, he has been popping up more in TV shows and movies, so more and more people have become aware of him. In 2015, he starred in two movies, a horror comedy called Krampus and a horror anthology movie called A Christmas Horror Story. And in A Christmas Horror Story, Krampus unleashes zombie elves to kill Santa, and then at the end they battle to the death. It's pretty cool, you should check it out. I knew it. Krampus, vile enemy of Christmas. We end this tonight. And while he might not be very popular over here at the moment, in other countries, he is a big part of their holiday traditions, and in some places, people dress up as him and pair it with Santa. Imagine going to the mall to get a picture of Santa Claus, and right next to him is this demon-looking person. I think that would be pretty cool, honestly. His origins aren't very clear. People can't really agree where this tradition came from, but what is clear is that he is an interesting character, and I look forward to him being further incorporated into our culture. I for one would love a version of the Santa Claus song, Santa Claus is coming to town, only with lyrics about Krampus coming to beat you and taking you to hell. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, and Merry Christmas, and remember, be good, or Krampus will pay you a visit. Hey, if you like this video, check out my video for 10 animations to watch on Christmas, and again, thanks for watching.